I didn't know about it. So at that moment, six months, you know, still not changes to be ambassador or sorry, I now say or nanti. Until you said just okay, been more hard. I'm only a day, a year, or one and a half. But at that time, so now I was sending my call back to school, you know. Then we want everything to be fast. Either she will speak, she will walk, whatever we want to do. We are expecting that she will walk by. One and or one and a half year, then she will be okay. Then her mother can go back to school. But very unfortunately, we are there about one and a half. There's no change, and we notice that no. Then there's something wrong with my daughter. Sandy. <laughs> I had my patch, but my dassy, wall a drum, and I'm a lefia. You, your baby, Jilobana, your ma van, but may not ask. You shall not gap on a ballet, and my dad back to Kumala Cabo, Marquay, that my trap or your phonogy. And but may not ask you for a ballet, and ta may I see a bomb, if you have a signal cone, I see for no noir. Can a jab up by your bloody jarra, my boob was him. Happy my virtues, her mamma. Tell you on my invoke for my mother, and I didn't agree that they are a joke. You must clamor, a clear, a damada, denty, than I agree that I have a potato. About two years now, we find out that no, she has a serious sickness in her body, so we have to treat it now. So, anytime the sickness will raise up, we take her or we rush her to hospital, they will just tell us we have to deposit our money before they can do any surgeries or whatever. Within those time, two years, and her mother to leave her and she go out. I spoke with my mom, and my mom said, okay, if that's the situation, then she will handle her. And so, I feel that I have a young to sell. I have a young to sell. We didn't do hospital or see when I was here to the dada and I had any teeth in Sunday and Tessa. The Yadidimu did bear some few months in me and Yabin who said, I'm say a zebra policy, whatever, or my friend. Well, some of the causes of cerebral palsy include birth asphyxias, where babies are born asphyxiated, they do not cry at birth they have difficulty breathing and they need resuscitation. So areas of the brain that affect post-child movement are affected. And then with time, as the children begin to grow, we realize that they have difficulty maintaining their head posture, they have difficulty sitting, they have difficulty crawling. And that might be the beginning of the signs that tell you that the child is developing cerebral palsy. Again, you have infections to the brain and other very severe infections that can also lead to cerebral palsy. Sometimes you have malformations of the brain. Parts of the brain do not develop well for whatever reasons that may be known are unknown. And so children may come up with cerebral palsy as they grow. Thank you.
Nechi gbeya kemi kunya no mo aka ba gbo ku ga poleke mi agbo va Monona ati gomo ke ojira nde si are ke mo pokwa mo jana fos mo jana kucha ko choklo na enu mi mo jana bajivo nde mo chuna ti gbo mo plene blana ko ina si ta nya nu ke mo pokwa mo kone na si ma do ho ba jira ati gomo ke ana iha mo kone na ti gba iha mo ve plene blana ko ine mo jana bruni wa ta mo ya opapa ta na bo bruni wa wa mo ba ba le jira mu Ela no mo ve ko eba ko mi no mo gbe gbo mo po ofa mi ko ni onu ola si ti alo ko ni gba ti cho cha cha ko ni e je mo ti pa wa ko cho agba yi mi ti pa wa cho agba yi e ta na bo ya mo ba to te yo cha didi ku ka mo ya no mo ko ko ya mo de gbo be be de ga gba mo ale de ta fi ave no ma ta ya mo ti ti pa ne ko ni si fo so ai mo te gbe pa wa cho te na mo ba jijo e ja ja na mo bi ona de le na ma mo ko na mo lu kwa mo gba bo de ko mo lu Mado le apo ba na ba osbo mo do kura mo do ma mado le auto na apo yo popo ma uno na apo mo nya suke ti uno na apo do si le no le do ta yo le no do no va yo de de vio me piti me ti ma yi mo pe ko yala ma de atona jo gra ho so nya gbo mo la ele se for the vianti ko yo nkul Sinyo to papa ko de ko ira sima ke vu mo ale ne mi lo vu ama ya ne pon de sere ko na afono na atu atu me alo na nu e de gbo ake ko wa foko lo tutu me ke fi ma e ko de na afono time o dina bo ma no amodo mo ko abale no nu e de fi ma ti no do mo ke ja mo lo vu anti mo tro wa fodo da fi na ma do mo lo abona o mo ye nti ne ka yo nti o Vo ya ma te gwe gogro ba ma yin to de ka vu ni chema gro ba ma onu yi ta yi mo so no na avu le me Well basically for us in this environment the most important cause of cerebral palsy happens to be birth asphyxia and then neonatal jaundice In this hospital for instance um, we do not have a maternity wing and so we do not conduct deliveries so majority of the children we see are those who are already showing signs and symptoms of cerebral palsy they are outborn 
in other hospitals and they, they approach us when you know they have difficulties with movement and posture at a certain age they are expecting that the child should be able to lift the head and hold the head up and they realize that the child is not keeping up and so they approach us so basically we have neurodevelopmental clinics that run on tuesdays and on fridays so what we do is that we screen the children when they come in First of all, there's a medical officer who sees the child and assesses the child. And when he sees that the child has cerebral palsy, he refers the child to the neurodevelopmental clinic. So the child is given a booking date to see the specialist in the neurodevelopmental clinic. So at the clinic, the child is seen and assessed again. Now we are looking at the child, his age, his or her age, what the milestones the child has been able to achieve and what is lacking. For us here, managing children with cerebral palsy is, is quite challenging. There's really not much that we can do for them. All our investigations are done outside the facility. And so if you need to do, let's say, an EEG for seizures, for instance, you wouldn't have it done here. You would have to go to Kolebu Teaching Hospital or other facilities that offer the service. If you need any liver function test, if you need to have your vision assessed, if you need to have your hearing assessed, if you need to have neuromuscular testing, all these things are not done here. So for us, basically, we monitor their movement. If the children have seizures, we control and manage their seizures. If they are not hearing well, we assess and then we refer to the appropriate quarters. So we monitor their movement, we just make sure they grow up to become as, as independent as much as possible. That's what we aim to do here. Okay. What are you saying? I don't know. Yes. You are my Michael. You are my father. Nina. You are my father. You are my father. So we have just seen the case of a five-year-old who was born preterm and was also as visited at birth, coming to us with inability to sit, inability to walk, not speaking at five years. So after taking the history and examining the child, we've come to the conclusion that the child has cerebral palsy. She also has a seizure disorder and is malnourished. And so we've spoken to the parents, we have explained the disease condition to them. It's unfortunate they've come to us rather late at five years, but there's still something we can do for them. And so in our subsequent visits and reviews, we'll be looking at the interventions we we'll put in for this child and how best she's going to come out of the situation. I Elam, <laughs> Cabo, a cover, Nunya la Vam. I pay don't he? No, Lena, or Quaya, Lagua, Mok wedded you. Ye never open on over a cover, much in my way. Not a much in my way, Mokwebe Caba, Cowalabia, no, Nanya, feel like a mouth like on your day. Ta cover, mug blown, a chimney work, I call you on a vaya, or vaita, fifia, my fear, me vadua. Me and Tommy do very mill of our vama to a trouble boo, I got van, as as in the cable, Yafia, one or one, Bronu Duco, Mia Bubano, and Nam Echo at one, and a banner of video, do clap with Moussa Lam. 
Well, the good thing about our concept of children is that children are gifts from God. And like I always say, if somebody gives you a gift, no matter how imperfect the gift is, as Ghanaians, we are taught to accept gifts. Even if you don't appreciate it, you are not supposed to show that you do not like the gift. So we should translate it into childhood. Every child wants to look normal, wants to be accepted in society. Every child wants to grow up in a secure environment. He wants to, to be confident about himself. And so if for one reason or the other you have a child with cerebral palsy, it's not a case. That child is not a spirit child, is not a water child, is not from the underworld. It's just that these children had some difficulties either during pregnancy, during delivery, or soon after birth. They had a problem, and as a result of these problems, they have also developed these complications. So I would want to encourage all mothers who have children with cerebral palsy not to think of doing anything that will harm the children. They should just talk to a healthcare provider, tell them what their issues are, and then if the healthcare provider believes that the child needs to go on further, a referral will be given and the children will be supported. There, um, there, are, there are a few policies, you know, the LEAP program, the Livelihood Enhancement Accelerated Program that the government put in place some years back, is now looking at extending support to mothers with children who have neurodevelopmental disability. And so they should be encouraged, mothers should be encouraged to register with the LEAP program in their districts where they are to receive some help. And then they should not hide these children. There is help for them. They should bring them out. They should be confident about them. After all, children are gifts from God. And these are gifts they have received. If they are imperfect, it still remains a gift. They are gifts as they always want to refer to children. So they should approach the nearest health center. They should go out there and seek help for them. If the children are having seizures, there is help. If the children are not moving, there is help. There is occupational therapy that can help them. There are teachers that can help them. They just need to approach the healthcare workers and then talk their problems over. There are so many mothers who have children with cerebral palsy and then when they come into the facility they also meet other mothers, they talk, they share ideas, they share experiences, they talk to each other, they encourage each other and then it helps when they go back into their communities they will become now advocates for children with cerebral palsy and then they can also encourage other women in their communities to come out and seek help. There is nothing like spirit or water children.